Hey everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in learning how to enter the BIOS menu for the Lenovo Legion Go to do things like adding additional VRAM or adjusting those VRAM settings, stay tuned. I'm walking through the basics in today's video. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so jumping straight in, this is something that you're going to want to do at your own risk. So I'm not going to be liable or responsible for any issues that can come from it. And also different games will have different settings. So what we're going to do, we have our power button up here and then you have two buttons up top. So one button is going to be for the volume up and one is for volume down. So you have two choices. You can either hold the volume up and the power button at the same time, or from what I've seen online, some people will actually just press the power button and then just click the plus button multiple times. Uh, this seems to work just fine for me. Now, when you're at this screen here, for me, this is just a touch screen. So you can basically just carefully click on the BIOS option, and then you'll see you have your menu here. Now you can click more settings and then from this menu here, you'll see we have quite a few different options. So when you're in this menu, you can go over to configuration and you can scroll through and you'll see you have your UMA frame buffer size. So here you can select from three, four and eight gigs, though from what I've seen online, there are likely going to be changes in these settings to add additional options. But this would basically be the options you would want to select from, but it is worth noting noting that it could impact system stability. So again, do this at your own risk and do research to figure out what settings gonna work best for whatever games or options you choose. Now, once you've done that, you'll see that there's a save and exit option, but you also have the option just to click back. So once you click exit, it'll give you the option to save your settings if you've made any changes, and then it will go ahead and boot straight up to your lock screen or home screen. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.